Assuming my calculations are correct, there are 12 individual different sets in Royal High, both seasonal and some permanent. So you guys, out of those 12 different sets in Royal High, which in my opinion are the best to the least best, that's not really a word, but we are going to rate the sets today from my favourite to my least favourite. Hey little beans, we're aiming to get to 100,000 subscribers. If you enjoy my videos, don't forget to hit that sub button if you'd like to help us get there. Enjoy the video. Hello wonderful little beans, my name is B, and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day today as always and thank you so much for tuning in to another video on my channel. I have seen a few Royal High YouTubers doing videos like this where they rank their favourite sets and things like that in order of their favourites to their least favourite or just various other ratings as well. And I thought it would be fun since we've had some new sets recently obviously being added in for the last few updates if we did an updated set rating thing. Now you guys guys I am super super excited to do this and I also want to say a massive thank you to the Royal High wiki because I got all of the pictures for the different sets from there so a big thank you to them but today you guys we are going to rate them from my favorite set down to my least favorite hey everyone I'm Dolly and welcome back to another video how are you doing today let us know in the comments down below we always love reading your comments and of course we will do our best to respond to as many as possible and leave some hearts on them and while we're at it a big thank you to today's little been shout out thank you so much for commenting on the last video you are so awesome and of course if you want to be the next little bean shout out you guys all you have to do is comment something down below with hashtag lbso at the end so that we can check your comments see that you want to be the shout out and of course feature you absolutely you guys and some of you guys have also been asking me if i can start showcasing some fan art from my twitter because some of you are not able to send me it on discord the answer to that question is definitely yes if you go ahead and use a hashtag on it that will help me to be able to find it. So we're going to do hashtag B plays fan art, you guys. So if you put hashtag B plays fan art on it, then I'll be able to find it. Because the only reason why I don't usually feature ones that are sent to me on Twitter is because they get lost in my mentions and sometimes I can't find them. So if you put hashtag B plays fan art inside of the tweet with the fan art as well as tagging me, then that way I can go back and find it when you want it to be featured on the video. And then I'll be able to check out the Twitter ones as well, you guys, so that if you aren't able to join Discord, I can also showcase it from Twitter as well. Thanks so much to everybody who sends me fan art it really does mean a lot and i appreciate it and you guys are all so kind so thank you so much all right you guys so today we are going to go ahead and rate every single royal high set from my favorite to my least favorite well not in order necessarily i'm going to rate them based on one to five so there's 12 sets so there's going to be a couple in the same boxes but i'm basically going to tier list them you guys as what i like the most and what I like the least. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you guys can see, I have created a tier list here, you guys, which has one through five on the tiers and then all of the 12 different sets. This includes the Midnight Popstar set, which some people don't include because obviously it is a set that you get from winning it rather than buying it. But I wanted to include every single permanent and seasonal and winning set, you guys. Anything that is considered a set by the Royal High Wiki is on this page. So we are gonna go through each of these sets in a moment, you guys, and rate them as the ones that I am most likely to wear at the top and the ones that I'm least likely to wear at the bottom and then fill up the middle as obviously accordingly. So I don't know how these tier lists normally work because obviously you can see this is red through green, one through five. So I don't know why red would be the top, but I'm going to use it as one, two, three, four, five, you guys. I don't really pay attention to tier lists normally. So one is going to be my favorite and five is going to be my least favorite. So we're obviously going to go ahead and get started, you guys, by putting in my favorite set. Now, lots of you guys already know what my favorite set is because you comment it and tell me on YouTube comments and also in my stream chats all the time. So I know lots of you guys already know what my favorite set is. But in case you didn't know, my favorite set is the Enchanting Heirloom set, you guys, which is by the wonderful Crystal Flow, right? It's one of my favorite sets because I think that all of the pieces can go with basically anything. Now, I may not use the arms very often, but that's because I have a favorite arm set. Obviously, my favorite arms from a different set, you guys. But I do love the sleeves that you can put with that one. And I love the corset. And I love the skirt a lot because both of those items can go with basically any other set or any other item in the game as well and I just really really like it for that reason.
amazing. Now, next up, you guys, we're going to put in the Royal Rebel in the top as well because I use the arms every day. Now, the set is beautiful as well, but as many of you will already know, I use the arms with basically every single outfit, especially if the set I'm using it with doesn't actually come with arms already. It's perfect, you guys, because the arms go with almost anything in the game, especially the enchanting heirloom skirt and bodice. I love putting those together as well, you guys. So the next one that I'm going to put is going to be in my second slot, you guys, because those are the only two that I wear all the time. So I'm not going to put any more in the first slot. But next up, you guys, my next favorite is probably going to be the Mon Cherie set. And the reason why, you guys, is because I use the legs basically all the time as well. As many of you know, the Mon Cherie set is actually the legs that I use on my main set. And actually, you guys, come to think of it, it probably should be in number one because I use the legs every day. I tend to use the baby doll dress the most now, but I normally wear the cage skirt and the, and the like corset and stuff a lot. And then obviously, I will put the Royal Rebel arms and the Mon Cherie legs together to make my OC. So really, they should all be in the first slot since I use them so much. But then you guys, next up in the second slot, we are going to go ahead and put in the Cherry Blossom Kimono set. It is one of my favorites. I love it, you guys. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful set. And I wear it as much as I possibly can when I can think of a reason to wear it or an outfit to create with it. I usually do. For my last few videos, you guys, ever since the rework, I have been using it a lot, as I'm sure you've noticed. And I think it's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful set. And I think that Freddy did an incredible job making that one. One. So we definitely want that in at least number two. And then for the next one in number two, you guys, I am going to put in my wonderful, wonderful, one of my favorites, you guys, the Princess Starfrost set. Now, even though I don't tend to wear a lot of the items, the ice skates are just absolutely wonderful in that set, you guys. I love them. At Christmas, I use them all the time. But also during the rest of the year, I do actually like to use them as well. And I tend to just turn off the ice skates and just wear them as shoes. So you guys, I think those are beautiful too. I think the Princess Starfrost Starfrost is a beautiful set and I know lots of you guys really love it and love getting to wear it and use it so I'm really really happy to get to see it obviously high up in my list. And next up you guys we're going to go to the third tier. So the third tier is where I'm going to put some of my sets that I like but don't wear very often but do think they're very beautiful. So the Fluttering Butterfly set you guys is one that I do use quite a lot. I love the legs on that set especially. I tend to use those the most when I'm using a big skirt so if I'm going to wear my large train burst skirt I'm probably going to use the fluttering butterfly legs so that you can actually see the whole of the skirt you guys and so it doesn't clip into the ground and I personally think it goes really really well so I think that that was a beautiful set as well very well done again to crystal flow right and then you guys the winter guardian set is just so beautiful majestic flowy ice princess goddess goodness I love it so much I think it's absolutely amazing and I really 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 am impressive ready and the rest of the people who worked on that set it's so beautiful then next up, you guys, we are going to put in the beautiful Midnight Strike set, obviously, into number three as well. Because even though I don't wear it very often, I do think it's very, very beautiful. So then down into tier four, you guys, this is where things get a little bit complicated and people usually get annoyed. So you guys, people usually don't agree with me on my choices here, but it's okay. I can accept that. In slot number four is the Dear Dolly set, you guys. I think it's beautiful but I never use it. I literally never use it, you guys. I'm probably not going to anytime soon. I think it's a beautiful set, but I just don't wear it. It's gorgeous, but it's definitely tier four for me just because I don't use it. And then the Shadow Empress set again in tier four. I think the Shadow Empress set, you guys, may well be the only set I don't have the full thing for. I'm not actually really that bothered about it. I think it's really pretty though, and it's definitely very popular and you guys really like it. But personally, I'm just, I'm just not that bothered, you guys. I'm just not that bothered. Next up in tier five, I know you guys are going to be annoyed about this, but the Miss Lady Rose set is just not one of my favorites, you guys. I just never use it. There's pieces in it that I might wear the bodice maybe every now and again, but it's very rare that I would use it. I just really, really don't mind you guys. It's just not really my thing. And then lastly as well, the Darling Valentina set. Again, I just don't use it. It's a beautiful set, you guys, and I'm sure lots of you love it. But in terms of my favorite sets, it's just unfortunately one of my least favorites. So it's going to be in the tier five. So you guys, what do you think to my tier list for all of the Royal High sets? I would be very interested to know what you guys think about this and whether or not you think you agree with my tier list or whether or not you disagree. Let me know in the comments down below which you would move around or what you would have in other places. Maybe tell me your favorite and least favorite set. I'm always interested to know your opinions as well.
So you guys, that is my rating of every single set in Royal High. Lots of you guys are interested in what my opinions are on the sets, what my favourites are and my least favourites, etc. Well, now you can know. Those are the exact tier lists that I would apply to every single set and maybe I'll do an updated one of these when in the future a new set comes out. Let me know what you think. Should I do some accessory ones as well? Maybe we could do like Easter accessories and then St. Patrick's accessories and like separate them out. Probably would take a while, but you never know. It might be quite fun. So thank you so much everybody for watching. If you did enjoy this video don't forget to leave a like we're going to aim for 250 as always and please don't forget to subscribe we are so close to 90k you guys we're about to hit 88,000, which is just crazy thank you so much everyone for being so wonderful i'm hoping to live stream at some point this week as well you guys so hopefully i'll catch you in a stream as well on youtube i know i stream a lot on twitch but i want to stream on youtube a couple times too i love you guys lots you're all amazing i hope you're having a great day and a great week and a great month and i'll see you all in the next video don't forget to click that bell goodbye